Sometimes you're better off dead There's a gun in your hand that's pointing at your head You think you're mad, too unstable Kicking in chairs and knocking down tables In a restaurant in a West End town Call the police, there's a madman around Running down underground To a dive bar in a West End town In a West End town, a dead end world the Hey guys, like Sal here from the Alfie Higgins video Yeah, I'll be covering the Archie and the Alfie Higgins today so I decided um, I've got I've covered a lot of chanels. Um, I think I've got them all. I've covered the Glazed and Allure, Allure Sport with Extreme. I've got another one to do. I've got to do a Dijon Blanche as well. I haven't done that one, so I've got a few more to do. But the one I picked, I picked this one up. They actually, and that's a Platinum Glazed. And I already own the original Glazed. And this one came out in 1993. The original was 1990. And it was actually earlier than that. And they renamed it Glazed and they released it. So. This one is um, very different. I mean, everyone was saying I've heard a lot about Mont Blanc, La Junde, and the uh, Abercrombie and Fitch Fierce. I really don't get this with this. Like really, I just I just don't get it really. It's strange, but this reminds me a lot of Paco Ban XS. If anything, it's like a more refined XS. I love XS. It's a really, really good fragrance. This is just a wee bit better. It makes your nails so you're going up a bit pain more mind. So really, I'm a big fan of this. Uh, it really is. <coughs> Some awesome stuff. Uh, I love the bottle. The bottle's really classy with the silver replacing the black. I mentioned how I liked how it looked like wood in the original one, even though it was plastic. Uh, you get Chanel there, Chanel logo, you get Chanel on the bottom. Eagle you get Chanel, the details at the bottom there. And again, it's one of the classic ones where they keep the classic sort of font, you know. It's just pretty good. And um, I was kind of tempted, like, I had a lot of people getting bad sellage and laundry, everything and stuff. This one's been really strange. I can still smell it in my hand, but. I was coming out, I went for a few drinks uh, in my local pub and I was walking down to get the train and I was catching whiffs of it and I thought someone's wearing something really nice, but this and at first I, I didn't know this, but I thought it was um, someone else or someone dropped by recently or something so I got on the train, didn't really smell anything, got off the train boom, this whiff again I was like, yeah that's the same person who's got on the same train or well, that's me and it must have been this, it smelled very similar and I was like, it must have been this, it was really really nice so I was like, I'm really impressed um, just catching whiffs, I've heard a lot of people saying this one's very disappears and comes back again, it's strange like that. But excellent scent, I really really like this. I mean I know a lot of people a lot of people if you love the original one you might not like this, you'll be like, oh like I said, you know someone said, you know, ego is for the specialist, you know, platinum's for the masses. This one's apparently a really good compliment, yeah. I don't regret buying it, I really, really like it. Um I'm thinking of taking it on holiday with me this year, as my holiday fragrance to wear. So it's gonna be a hot day, so but it's pretty good for summer maybe. Yeah that or or Sachi Mano Fresh. Something like that, see what happens. But excellent saying there. Eh? Quite chuffed with it, lovely bottle. Now let's look at the sprayer. Again, it's pretty much the exact same bottle as um the original Eggway. So the only thing I've noticed I'm not sure if you can is inside here there was like a, a wee Chanel logo. In the original one it's gone in this one. Just a wee wee detail I just thought I'd add in. For, is it this one? No, is it this one? Yeah, it is on this one I think. Yeah that it's blue de Chanel, one of them has it. And um, but basically Let's get the sort of classic spray of the older nails with a really tall neck. So let's have a sniff. The spray is actually really good. So if you look at this one. Quite a good mist. Quite strong. I mean, really, it's fresh right off the bat. Right off the bat, it smells rich. Very, very rich. High quality. This just screams France. This, when I think of this, I think of like some businessman in a suit and a tie and a Rolex in his wrist. This is just screams confidence, this screams I went to uni and done an honours degree, you know, this, this is what this screams, really confident scent, very very nice, I like the original but I really love this as well, I like them both, excellent excellent scent, I, I can see it's become my favourite Chanel, now, I'm not sure it was just me but the open is sort of fresh and it reminds me a wee bit, just a wee bit of uh, the Edition Blanche, just the open and just that sharp citrusy sort of note, just a wee bit like Edition Blanche, dries down to be something a lot nicer. I was catching whiffs of this so some people are reporting really really excellent uh, longevity projection silage on this. A lot of people are reporting it only lasts a few hours. Skin chemistry so on me it seems to last pretty damn well. The original one seems to last well uh, also. So I think this is very very versatile. Perfect for work. Perfect for a date. Perfect for casual wear. A bit classy for casual wear but wear it if you casual if you want. I mean, I'm not going to complain. If I smell you wearing I will shake your hand. <laughs> Not many people wear this, I've noticed it's quite 
really, really good. I mean, I was tempted. I was going to go for that Terry Derms. I hope I'm saying it right. Or Terry Derms, whatever it is. <laughs> and I went for this instead because I thought I want to complete my sort of men's collection of Chanel. The only one I haven't really got is like Antaeus and Paul Monsieur, and I didn't want to go for them. It wasn't really my thing. I know I've got Dior or Sauvage per perfume, but that's why I have these really, really nice ones I still like. Even though it's a bit older, that's why these ones I'd wear. I won't see myself reaching for it like three times a year, maybe even maybe three times a year max. That's it, but I just like to have it when I really want a serious scent that will really do the job. So yeah, this is Chanel and the other sort of scents, really, really good. I mean, I know a lot of people saying it was niche quality, even for a designer scent and stuff. I mean, it's the same. Really well blended. It does have a love-hate thing going on, but there are a lot of fans. I'm a, I'm a new fan to it. I really like it. I wish I'd bought this before. I bought the original Lure and stuff. Oh. Sorry, my hair. My hair's absolutely terrible today. <laughs> Talk about a bad hair day. But, <laughs> really, really nice. Really good. I would say four to five sprays with this. One, you know, two, uh, one, two, three, four, and five. And that's just sorted. Really, really good. Remember the chest spray. So, yeah, excellent scent from Chanel. The house really impresses me. I really like it. I've got a lot of Chanel. I've got Blue de Chanel now. I've done a lot of Chanel reviews. I still need to do a review on Edition Blanche as well. So, i are going to toss up between this and Deschamps Blanche. I'm going to ask some people on Fragan Scurry Nation and uh, what they think, what they think they should bring in stuff and present them with some sense. I'm thinking they're bringing, they can pick one and I'll suggest another one and see what happens. But yeah, this one is looking to be the one that's going to be coming to holiday with me. You're that a boss bottled, you know. Uh, <laughs> really liking it. I mean, really, like, this is one of the few scents I was like, why have I missed this? I've sniffed it before. It really reminds me of... Um, Sheer class, you know, it just it's just class in a bottle. It really is excellent, excellent fragrance. Oh, can't bother me. If you, I love Pac Ban XS. I mentioned it's a really good fragrance, probably one of the best in Pac Ban in my video. I highly recommend you check that video out after this. It does have an XS vibe. I love XS. I also love this. I wouldn't treat them as the same thing. As long as I know I get a hint of the XS, I will still probably see myself reaching for them at separate times. They're both good because they're both quite classy scents so you can both dress them up and stuff so this is a really one of those scents really really good excellent French sexy you know I believe it was Jack Pauls who done this one as well I know he done Eagle I'm not sure I believe it is Jack Pauls who done this so you really done a good job with it so if you love the original you might not like this one as much if you're a big fan of the original you may not like this however I like the same um, I would treat it as its own scent um, I said that to someone recently, I said, you know, if it was up to me, I wouldn't even call this Platinum Eagle East. I would just call it Chanel Platinum Pour Rome. I mean, Platinum Pour Rome, Platinum's rich, you know, like the, the silver, the you know, bronze, silver, gold, Platinum. Platinum's really rich, Platinum's, you know, real expensive. So I think I've got a good enough name. And if you just change the top, the top here, made it a bit more, you know, Platinum has a sort of bluish vibe, to just made it a bit more like that, and you'd have a perfect Platinum Pour Rome. I don't think that's embarrassing what you're wearing, Platinum by Chanel. Chanel Platinum, you know, it doesn't sound cheap to me, so, but still, um, do check this out, it's, I got this in Debenhams, 50 mils here, it was £46, so, £46 for the 50 mils, that's the one I got here, and um, I believe £64 for the 100, I think, it isn't that, that bad a price, you know, for what you're getting, so, do check this out, excellent scent, um, love it, really love it, so yeah, Chanel, Platinum Eagle East guys, released in 1993, classic scent, it has been reformulated, might not be as strong as the original, the original apparently was a beast, but I wasn't, you know, I, didn't, I don't own a vintage bottle, so I don't know. But yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video, I hope it's been helpful, um, if there's anything, if you've got experience with this cologne, uh, please do tell me, it's a new one for me, and I, I'm just off the bat what I'm getting from it, uh, in this video. Uh, please tell me experience with it, uh, comments you've got, what you think of it personally, stuff like that, and just, um, yeah any other questions about it please feel free to message me leave a comment you know a personal message I have a private message on YouTube uh, and remember to please subscribe like this video and subscribe and tell your friends so if your friends like colognes or looking for advice and clones please uh, do follow them to my videos and I hope they help so yeah uh, remember to check out my blog uh, all these will be in a playlist so they're easy to find so yeah guys I'm Alex Ellis thank you for watching this video and uh, yeah I hope you have a nice day Sometimes you better off
dead There's a gun in your hand that's pointing at your head You think you're mad, too unstable Kicking in chairs and knocking down tables in a restaurant In a West End town Call the police, there's a madman around Running down, underground, to a dive bar In a West End town In a West End town, a dead end 